Here's a game of regimental chess played on three boards. Each side has three kings with three divisions or armies. In any given turn, each army commands a move. It's the first move for white, and infantry and bishops from two armies march forward under Green's command. Then the yellow rooks and queens join a massive regiment poised for attack. The blue infantry moves forward to block an attack along that flank. Remember that no piece can move past the eighth row in the first turn. Now it's Black's turn, and it cannot ignore the pending attack. The entire regiment of infantry and bishops from all three armies march forward under Blue's command. Then the queens and rooks from the red and yellow divisions maneuver to meet White's assault. White moves its blue bishops out of the way, then, under Green's command, attacks with its mass of queens and rooks from all three armies. Nine pieces are wiped out. Under Yellow's command, eight knights shift toward the exposed flank. Black's turn. Yellow infantrymen and bishop take out a rook and queen from the massed attack. The red command then takes out six pieces from the attacking regiment while the bishops charge up the center. White. Checks the center king from one, then two directions, then drives with its rooks and queen. Black responds to the threat with blue rooks and queens sweeping in and taking out two bishops. The red king takes out the last threatening bishop and escapes danger. Then, three rooks under yellow's command take out three opponents. It's possible that white's massed attack will suffer the same fate as Pickett's charge. Perhaps it lacks sufficient weight to overcome black's defense. The next few moves will tell. White continues the attack against black's center with the few offensive pieces it has left. It took two moves, but black's red king evades the threat. Its yellow king also moves out of harm's way. White keeps pressing and checks all three kings from multiple angles. Black's yellow king is under check from three different pieces. Black's turn, and the blue horses move to protect the blue king. The yellow king, rook, and queen sweep out two opposing pieces. The red king moves with a formation to escape danger, but three moves were not enough to save all three kings. White's green division commands the queen and rook pressing hard against one king. Blue bishops close in on the same king from the other side. Lastly, black's yellow king goes down. His entire division is removed from the board. Now black has only two armies to fight with, with only two moves to make each turn against white's three. However, white's heavier hitting pieces have suffered heavy losses and there are two more kings to capture. White continues to close the ring with three moves against the second king. But taking down a king is not as easy as it looks. And with two moves, black gets out of the danger and wipes out two more opponents. White makes a key move by taking out black's blue queen. Thus, black's red king is now protected by pieces from only one division and can therefore command only one move in his defense in each turn. Though White's Blue Division can only command moves by its infantry, Black moves its Red King out of the way, then makes an offensive move with its bishops. White's turn, and it continues to try to close in on the Red King. Its bishops and infantry move forward in the center. As for the Blue Division, again, all that's left is a march forward with infantry. Red's King has no option but to go down fighting. The bishops take out three pieces in the center, essentially annihilating White's Bishop Battalion. White takes out the red king in the center, takes out a bishop on the right, and its blue infantry marches forward another step. The red army is now gone, and black has one army left against white's three. It positions its rooks to sweep left in the next turn. White single queen and rook lack the weight to take that last king, so it moves all three infantries forward. The battle will be decided by the infantry, and black fights back. Again, White dedicates all three moves to his infantry. Black's move is intended to keep that large infantry force divided into two separate parts, thus forcing White to spend two moves instead of one to keep the group marching forward. Black takes out the last bishop, which would otherwise be launched at a horse and weaken Black's last defensive unit. White continues to press toward the inevitable and merciless conclusion. Black keeps the opposing infantry severed. White's infantry presses, it's no longer about clever moves, but now a simple, undeniable matter of numbers and inevitable fate. There are simply too many infantrymen pressing from too many sides, and Black's King goes down nobly. Regimental Chess, a game of attrition for the brutal intellect.